Um, I have a question um, about bands of withdrawal and uh, older women and spine pain. I had zero spine issues prior to bands of withdrawal and um, now I'm having tremendous spine pain and electrical, like electrical pain. And that would run, run the length of the spine and then down the, us at times, down, that electrical pain will run the full length of my arms and legs. But it appears to be coming from the spine. Right now, it feels like there's a bungee cord attached to the bottom of my brain and the other end is attached to uh, my mind just went blank. Um, the other end is attached to my tailbone and it feels like someone's pulling as hard as they can. It feels like I'm arching my back and spine pain. Um, and the electrical spine pain, that's not always happening. This weirdness is happening right now. This bungee cord thing is just, and, and the electrical pain it's literally like I licked my finger and stuck it in a, an electrical socket and I'm being electrocuted. And that electrocution pain will be like down the spine and the arms and legs. That pain is just terrifying and it takes my breath away. It literally takes my breath away. And um, oh, my hair is so greasy. Um, so I'm wondering if... Well, I, I think the answer is yes, that bands of withdrawal can cause demyelinating of, uh, demyelination of the nerve endings and the spinal cord. I think this can happen. It can happen from, you know, illnesses and, and viruses and everything I've researched. The benzo injury can act just like a injury that can occur from a virus various various health issues um and also demyelinating effects the central and peripheral nervous system and i have peripheral neuropathy that's been diagnosed through emg tests way in the beginning um, and I would like another EMG test. That was almost two years ago. I would like another EMG test, uh, <clears throat> to see how bad my neuropathy actually has gotten, if it's better or if it's worse. I saw someone, uh, someone on their Facebook page asking about neuropathy and Someone said, don't do, I think it was a nurse, don't do the EMG test because it's extremely painful. Don't put yourself through that. And I said, well, I've had two EMG tests. It wasn't painful at all. And then after I wrote that, I realized that it probably wasn't painful for me because my nervous damage is extensive. And when your nerve nerves are injured and and you're really numb and damaged, you're not feeling the EMG test. I've had it two, twice from two different neurologists. So what I said to the, what I, how, my comment was probably incorrect. It's probably painful as hell if, if you don't have peripheral neuropathy. Um, so that's my question seen other people talk about nerve uh, spine pain it terrifies me there's no no one to talk to i've 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 asked for another referral for another neurosurgeon to have a discussion about this what's happening to my spine why am i in pain uh, or is there a pinched nerve or i'll tell you i never had any of these not ever none of these health issues prior to the benzo withdrawal and it might go away it's been you know 
this started two years ago. I don't know. Uh, could, could can the myelin sh can the myelin sheath heal? Maybe. I know some people's neuropathies have gone away after benzo withdrawal. The neuropathy, peripheral neurop neuropathy, is horrifying. I really, when I touch things, I can't really feel them. My feet, my hands. At times, I have n numbness. At times, I have full full body numbness, and I get it in a tub of hot water, and I can't feel it. It's it's terror. Your skin is an organ, right? And it's it's terrifying when you have when when you feel like you're losing control of your body. But um, I think the benzo withdrawal can cause the demyelinating. Um, I'm going to lay down now. Man, I had no sleep last night. And this is wearing me down.